Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Who invited this man? Get your ass on, man. I just want to be a YouTuber, but my videos don't get any views. I think it's a good video, too. What am I doing wrong? What are you doing wrong? What are you doing wrong? Well, let me tell you. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to rank your videos and explode your growth on YouTube in only three simple steps, and it's really easy. All it costs you is a small little like on this video. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's assume that we've got a brand new YouTube channel and it just happens to be about dog grooming. What you're going to want to do as a small YouTuber is you're going to want to take advantage of YouTube search. That is the best way to get yourself views on the YouTube platform when you don't have an audience. Once you actually make these search videos and you've got traffic coming into your YouTube channel and you've got an audience, then you'll be able to rank on what's called browse, which is basically the home feed of YouTube. As long as you're making content that is very engaging and gets a lot of views and gets good engagement from the current audience that you have. So how do we use search to kickstart all of this? Well, the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna find low competition keywords that we can make videos about that people are searching for. And yes, this requires a little bit of work up front. I'm not gonna sugarcoat that for you, but it will pay off for you in the long run and I'm gonna show you exactly how later in this video. All right, we've got my YouTube homepage pulled up and I'm gonna show you guys how you can go from here and use all of these different methods to find content so that way you can actually create the best sort of content that you can rank in. And the first thing we're gonna use is this YouTube search bar. And it's not really as complicated as you might think. So we mentioned that we are gonna create a dog grooming YouTube channel. So basically we're gonna wanna type in dog grooming, just our main keyword, just to see what's going on here. And for me personally, I do use this TubeBuddy extension, which is honestly the most helpful and greatest thing in the world for a small youtuber i can't even sugarcoat that for you this thing is so good but i'm going to show you some free methods as well if you guys want to go get to buddy it's pretty cheap i think it's like nine dollars a month but basically it gives you the search volume so for dog grooming we can see that a lot of people are searching for this that's why it's in the green and if it has enough data it even tells us how many searches are for month on youtube which is 3.18 million so if you rank in these top pages, then you can get so many views and it'll show you the competition. As you can see, the competition isn't too bad and it shows what the overall ranking for the keyword is. But what I like even better about getting this TubeBuddy subscription, which is linked down in the description below, is that I can choose how good it is for my channel in particular. So you could see right here that the average amount of views on a video for the dog grooming keyword is 1.3 million views. But it also shows you that the lowest view count is 19.9k views so the bigger your channel gets the more that you can actually rank for these terms so as you can see mine is at 841 so this makes it a poor video for my channel in particular but what i really like about tubebuddy here is that it gives us a bunch of these related searches so what you want to do is you want to use what's called long-tailed keywords which would basically be like dog grooming for beginners and that is a phrase that people are typing in because they're looking for a very specific thing to solve a problem or a need of theirs so with any new youtube channel you want to actually start targeting these long tail keywords so let's open up dog grooming for beginners this tag here and we're going to see the statistics on dog grooming for beginners so as you can see, it doesn't get millions of searches per month, but it gets 2.4K per month. So if you make a whole bunch of videos like this, they actually add up. And I'm going to show you how they add up with my own personal analytics on my YouTube channel. So you can see the search volume is pretty low. The competition is fair. So this is actually kind of a hard keyword to rank for because it seems like dog grooming is sort of a competitive niche. But as you could see, I could actually rank a video on the first page in this keyword with two buddies information that I have here because I'm very close in views to this last ranking keyword which would actually make this a better keyword than say just dog grooming for instance but when you start going into this whole beehive of content and this beehive of search terms you could see that there are a bunch of other related terms that come from dog grooming for beginners so we started with dog grooming we moved to dog grooming for beginners and as we can see these related searches dog grooming for beginners at home so that is one that you will probably be able to rank in because if you look here if you look at the titles dog grooming for beginners how to cut a dog's hair dog grooming start from finish right here 
how to groom your dog at home right here this is the keyword in the title which i'm going to explain how to do this perfectly later so that you guys are all set but as you can see there's virtually no competition for this keyword and if your video is performing really well in these keywords what youtube will actually do is it will start ranking your videos as you can see this one has two million views it'll start ranking your videos for these other keywords such as dog grooming for beginners or even dog grooming if you get enough views so these search views over time will actually allow you to explode that video over time into those other related and bigger keywords once your video gets a ton of views which is really cool the other way that I use to find keywords which is actually completely free and doesn't require you to download TubeBuddy but TubeBuddy in the description is honestly a really great value or else I wouldn't be sharing it with you guys is you want to use the alphabet soup technique so we see dog grooming for beginners we're gonna use that as our main keyword as we can see that has enough search traffic for us to actually create other videos around this so as you can see Dog grooming for beginners, we can see all of the search results. I'm pointing at the screen right now, but you guys can't see that. We can see all of the search results that are related to this. So people dog grooming for beginners with poodles, dog grooming for beginners Yorkie, all of these other breeds. So if you're a dog groomer and you're creating this dog grooming content, then all you would need to do is literally make a search video for all of these because all of these animals have different fur types and different things that you can style them with. So basically, these become really hot topic video ideas for you to create content around and if you create a bunch of these content ideas then you'll get passive traffic that's flowing in every single day so if we take a look here we've done the alphabet soup technique you could try this with anything you could take this from dog grooming and you could do even if you don't want to do beginners you could do at home and then as you can see with clippers with scissors just check out all of the search results for these and then look at the average amount of views and see if that you can make a video that can rank on the first page with enough time and if you can then go ahead and make that video there's no guarantee but these are your best odds so as we see we go to my youtube channel in my youtube studio and this is exactly what i had to do to grow my youtube channel to the size that it is and what i do is i go in this analytics here and you can see that i got almost 9,000 views in the last 48 hours most of them come from that that little viral monstrosity that I had but as you can see there's a whole bunch of these other smaller videos that are ranking for other things so, so like grow animal Instagram accounts step by step so as you can see this thing's gotten 13 views in the last 48 hours but when you start to have hundreds of videos on your YouTube channel after time all of this comes to add up so as we can see I've made eight dollars and 29 cents off this video it's got a two dollar and fifty cent RPM which is pretty low but as you can see 77% of these views are coming from search and that's because when I was a brand new youtuber I found this keyword about growing animal Instagram accounts and I decided to make a video because nobody did so now I rank for that keyword even though it's a small one it brings trickle traffic along with all of these other little videos that I just showed you to my actual YouTube channel and it honestly is the best way to do things and I also have some really good big search videos such as this one this one right here, how to know who views and stalks your Instagram. Another old video, but as you can see, this video is getting almost like, what is this? Like 600, 700 views a day. And it's all from YouTube search as we can see on the screen here. So there's a lot of potential to be used with YouTube search. And as you can see, I've gotten 413 subscribers off of this one specific video, which this video and the whole point of YouTube search is to help people solve their problems. And that's what you wanna do in the beginning as a search YouTuber to make sure that you can get this traffic to your page completely and utterly organically and for free. Okay, so the next thing we need to cover is how to write out our title in our descriptions so that way we actually rank and search because we can make a video about dog grooming and nobody will know that that video exists unless we do the right keyword and optimization for our title and our description and this is fairly simple so let me show you exactly how I do this especially with my new video here so as you can see we're gonna go into the details of my video and the title is how to actually grow on Instagram in 2022 all organically and if you look here what you don't realize is that these are all keywords so grow on instagram this is a huge highly searched keyword organically how to grow on instagram organically is another set of the keywords and what you want to do is you don't want to make it so that this title isn't clickable like you don't want the title just to be the keyword you want to add value to that title so you see i have how to actually 
grow on Instagram in 2022 because this is a real true method, not just how to grow on Instagram in 2022. I'm adding a little bit of spice, a little bit of emphasis, trying to draw some emotion out of people without them realizing it so that way they click on the title. So as you can see, with your title, you wanna have these keywords and you wanna have some of those related close by keywords that you wanna also rank for when the video gets more views in your title. So as you can see with the description, learn how to grow on Instagram organically in the year of 2022. So with the beginning of your description, you always wanna target your main keyword, which is how to grow on Instagram, right in the beginning. So the main keyword of your title, how to grow on Instagram, you wanna put this right in the beginning of your description so that way YouTube knows that this video is about this. Okay, and I'm gonna show you the third part of this and how to actually get your videos to rank with YouTube search by making sure the algorithm knows exactly what your video is about. And we're just gonna play the beginning part of my video right here of my newest video. So you see, I've got the title, I've got the description. So we're telling YouTube what this video is about. And then our video, the algorithm is actually gonna pick up on the words that we say in this video to make sure that the video we're making is actually niche relevant to the topic. So listen very closely to the beginning of what I say in this video. Growing on Instagram can kind of feel like being stuck in a so as you could see, the first thing, the very first thing that I said in this video was growing on Instagram. So right there, I have one, two, three title description and right in the beginning of my video that tells the YouTube algorithm that that is exactly what this video is about and that is what's going to help this thing to rank and search as we go so also with your description as we go through this it's going to take you through growth hacks which is another Instagram keyword Instagram growth hacks Instagram tips Instagram tricks and it's going to take this keyword and it's going to mix all of these other related smaller keywords and I can actually rank for these other keywords as long as my video is performing well when people click on those keywords. So then as you can see I actually repeat the keyword here how to grow on Instagram organically and fast so how to grow on Instagram is our main keyword and then organically and fast are other sub related keywords that are long tailed keywords which I mentioned earlier which are phrases that people are typing in that I could also rank for and then strategy Instagram grow strategy is another keyword that people use and then I actually have all my links and stuff so you guys can check that out don't forget to check out my video SEO for two buddy I'm serious this thing is so helpful for actually growing on your YouTube channel like I, I can't even say that I wouldn't pump this company if they didn't pay me they do pay me for when people actually do buy stuff they just lowered the commission but I just love the product that much that this product is something that I wanna share with everyone because it's that good. So you might be wondering why I have all of these links in my descriptions and I highly recommend that you guys do this as well. And that's because when I send people to my entrepreneurship discord server or my discord server, this is what's called omni-channel marketing. And basically it's like pushing my audience to another place. So that way I'm always top of mind and they never forget about me and my content. And it gives me an additional avenue to market to people to help grow my brand and my business. And this is something that I would look in for you guys specifically, whatever your niche is, is to make sure that you have a place to where you can send your audience so that way your audience will never forget about you. It's like one of those TV shows that people watch every week. And if you're not top of mind, then people are gonna forget about you and move on to the next popular TV show. That's just how it is, it's nothing personal. And from there, the rest of these settings don't really matter. And the tags don't really matter these days either. But as you can see, I have how to grow on Instagram, how to grow on Instagram in 2022, how to grow on Instagram organically, how to grow on Instagram fast, Instagram growth strategy, Instagram growth hack, Instagram growth tips. And the cool thing about TubeBuddy is it tells me exactly how I rank for these keywords and where I rank if I do rank. And as you can see, I don't rank for how to grow on IG, but I am ranking for a bunch of these other keywords. And the more views I get and the higher click-through rate and the higher watch duration I get, the higher I'll actually rank in these, these keywords over time. And it can actually be to where I'm on the first page forever. And then it also gives you recommended other tags, but I don't always add these other tags in here. Okay, so now we're on to the mythical step three. And the mythical step three is to make sure that you have a really good thumbnail because if you don't have a really good thumbnail that can compete with all these other thumbnails, then there's really no point in you making the video because people aren't gonna click on it anyway. That's why you see people like myself make such crazy faces or ridiculous thumbnails because we need something that stands out and that can get the viewer's attention for like a millisecond to just click on our video. Heading back to my screen here, let's take a look at this dog grooming for beginners keyword. As you could see, these thumbnails, I'm not even gonna cap, 
there is a there is a space to be made here there is definitely room to be made here for this keyword because these thumbnails this one is the best one of the top four that we found for dog grooming for beginners the rest of these they honestly suck they don't really display exactly everything there is to know like this one okay sure it's dog grooming you see this hair on the ground this one just some random just some random like <laughs> like lady here with uh text that doesn't really match like the color scheming from a marketing psychology standpoint which i highly recommend you guys look into marketing psychology and color scheming because this is a really important thing so that way you can actually convey emotions subconsciously to people before they even click on your video and this one this top one right here just a dog so like there's a lot of improvement to be made so if you can make a better thumbnail and then you have a great title and you have a great description then YouTube will actually put this up here when your video is brand new so if you made a video about dog grooming for beginners then they'll actually put that video right here up here and, and see how people respond to it in competition with these other thumbnails they'll give you a small chance to actually accelerate your boost and be on the first page in a lot of cases and now before you know it with all this knowledge you'll get to have the secret 5,000 views party that youtube doesn't tell you about Okay, maybe I made the party thing up, but why shouldn't we have a party? Just go ahead, click that like button and subscribe and watch this video right here to keep the party going. <laughs>